you're massaging your children is to always put a towel on their body. Don't just leave them all open, even though they are your own children. That way they get to know what's appropriate and what's not. So if a towel isn't put on, them, they would know that something was up. So always put a towel on them, and it keeps them warm while you're not massaging your um, while you're not massaging them. Just use the towel and slide it and roll it up so that they're just their leg is showing so that everything else is all covered. So this is the leg. So children get sore legs. So with the knee, you have the knee sitting right there. And then there's muscles that come off and they go up the leg. Sometimes when children are doing um, a lot of sport, this part just under their knee will get really tight and sore. So, just going up the leg and back down again. So, putting your hands together, getting to the knee, sliding around and up. Go to the outside, down the outside, to the foot. Just put a little bit of oil on your hand so it's light. And down. Um, then there's what, uh, the massage technique, which is using your hand, so putting your hand in a seat cup and sliding up each side of the bone. So you've got the shin bone here. So sliding down, sliding up. Putting a little bit of pressure on your hands on each side so you're sort of clenching and going down. You may have noticed already that I've got a part of my finger that's not there. And it was an accident I had when I was 15 and I cut the end of my finger off. But my finger loves massage. So here we go, picking up the leg and down again. And then going up and doing the same here. Only your hands are going to be a lot wider apart. Just doing it gently. They don't need a lot of pressure for children. And back down again. Some of the areas to look for in children when they're being playing a lot of sport is pain up the inside of the shin here and up the outside of the leg. We're just doing it softly. As you can see, my daughter's got a bruise there. So this one's probably an older bruise, but any time when your children are being hit by a cricket ball or a basketball or fallen over, always get some ice and just rub over that area gently to cool it down. Because what's happening is when you get a bruise is you've been hit and then all the blood vessels have broken and then that, that, that bruising there is actually the blood sitting in underneath in the muscles. So if you put ice on it, it prevents that from being as bad. And later life, it could stop uh, the muscle from being injured further over time and over use. So this is the front of the leg. So then we cover them up, cover that leg, wiping, and that's done. So now we've got my daughter rolled over and the towel covering all of her up. So if it was a cold day, she'd be warm. You want to put something over somebody's feet if you are massaging them and so that their feet don't get cold. Okay, so now I'll show you how to do the leg. So bring back the towel. Always talking to the person that you're going to now do their left leg or their right leg. Mm -hmm. And here we go. So we've got oil on our hands. Now we're just going to slide up the back of her leg. The same as before, sliding up on the top side, coming around and going the other side. You might need a little bit more oil as you start. The oil that I use is an olive oil.
some oils, some people's skin don't like different oils. So now what I'm doing is hanging onto the foot like this, sliding my right arm up and down, sliding up the inside. Doesn't matter which way you go, it's just nice. Sliding over the foot. I'm getting that C or the L or the C cup, just sliding your hands up and down the muscle, pressing your fingers in and thumb in on each side. That's where children get sore from um, different types of sports they play. Always just massage the heel area, putting the two fingers together. Now going back up to the top of the leg and doing the same. Don't massage bruises, otherwise the blood vessels may be still not quite all back together again and you'll make it bleed even more. So never massage a blue bruise, fresh bruise. You can do this as many times up and down the leg if you want. And we're doing a quick and easy five minute massage on our children. It can be as short and as long as we want. Sometimes I stay for a little time and just want a little rub. Another time they want to get up and run away and play. So it doesn't mean anything, that's all they needed. And that's all there is to the leg. So now we can show you how to do the foot from the other side up. This is my favourite side. So what you can do is just massage from the other direction. Having this, your right hand with cupping it, just holding it. Massaging all the spots on the foot. Putting a little bit of pressure on. If they start to, if it starts to hurt, the person will start to move their foot away from you. So, massage is not about how hard you can do it. It's how comfortable you can do it that has people relax or your children relax. Massaging up into the heel and back down again. Massaging the toes. Just really get a sense of how nice that would feel if it was your feet that were being done. And that's how we do the foot again. From the other side, when they lay on their tummy. And just finish by just like holding both their feet when they're finished. It's just nice. Even just sliding your hands under and just holding their feet from the other way out really nice to finish with. Then you cover the person up again. <laughs>